Hey everyone, this is Daniel with Phone Arena. With a whiff of nostalgia, we always get uh, when we have Motorola phones to review. That's why we're very excited to get the new Moto G6 Plus and Play models in the office. They spend the budget gamut of two to three hundred dollars, and this seems to be a model for everybody. Did Motorola manage to hit the sweet spot of specs, pricing, and design yet again? Well, all three handsets sport displays with a modern tow and narrow aspect and are compact for the screen sizes. The rears are curved for a smoother in-hand feel and the overall result is that all three designs are pleasant to hold and easy on the eye. Only the G6, however, is fairly comfortable to use with one hand. The G6 and its Plus sibling have glass bodies but still feel lighter than the plastic G6 Play as it comes with a large battery pack that makes the foam thicker and heavier. Motorola had thoughtfully provided serrated lock keys on the right hand side that are easy to feel without looking and rather tactile. The same can be said for the volume rockers which are sturdy but somewhat thin and with shallow feedback. We ought to mention that all three phones come with a retro audio jack which is pretty refreshing in this day and age. The three new models come with LCD panels but the cheapest play carries HD plus resolution only since Motorola promises uh, two day battery life out of it and that's a way to deliver it for sure. The screens offer good sunlight visibility when outside, bordering on the very good in the case of the G6 Plus, which clocked very high 800 plus nits of peak brightness in our benchmarks. The panel's white balance is way on the cold side, especially when it comes to the G6 Play, but uh, while the displays of the new models won't wow you with anything in particular, they're decent daily drivers on average and will do the job when you venture to the beach. All three phones run on Android Oreo with no coat of Motorola paint on top, but useful navigation gestures and handy lock screen widget instead. Swipe up for an app drawer, swipe down to bring over the notification shade, simple does it. Alternatively, the Moto gestures can turn the front mounted fingerprint scanners into touchpads, swipe left on them to go back or right for the screen uh, recent apps menu. When it comes to other extra functionality or settings, the interface is pretty bare bones, but then again, this is what stock Android does to phones, trading complexity for faster updates. We'd like to see tap to wake or flash air graphics, but on the other hand, the Moto UI moves without stuttering or hiccups to speak of, always an advantage. The cameras aren't speed kings on neither of the phones, and it takes them nearly twice longer to snap a photo than the best mobile cameras out there. The interfaces also don't wow with tons of features or effects, which is signature Motorola, yet they cover all the basics and there's even manual mode for the dual snappers. While the color representation of the G6 Plus photos is sufficiently credible, the dynamic range keeps shadows in the dark. Detail is average and faraway foliage looks much like watercolor painting, for example. Video recording, however, both in 4K and 1080p is quite good. Photos from the dual camera on the Moto G6 are pleasant to look at, with slightly more vibrant colors from the G6 Plus. White balance is a bit too warm for a liking, but that's a common thread among phones these days. The 1080p video recording results in well-exposed footage with jolly colors and sufficient software stabilization. The lowly single camera G6 Play produces subdued colors that could use a bit more punch and tends to underexpose the shots as well. Detail is below average, but in good lighting the shots are passable. Video recording is at 1080p and the phone does well with colors, details and exposure. To wit, the 6th generation of Motorola's G series left a positive impression with us. Thoughtful design choices coalesce with stock Android and long battery life for the ultimate in daily usage and software update convenience. Each phone has a weak point, just average battery life from the G6, subpar audio on the Play or inconsistent camera on the Plus, but on aggregate the devices flaunt a very good value for money ratio. At these price tags you can actually only find a few Chinese company models in the US, but Moto hasn't gotten in hot water with intelligence agencies just yet, plus its handsets are compatible with all US carriers from the get-go. This was a video review of the Moto G6 Plus and Play from Phone Arena. For more information about these handsets and other ones, you can visit us at phonearena.com. Thanks for watching.